What is up, guys? Uh, we're going to be playing Legacy Gauntlet today. Uh, I am Barry Cannon. Uh, we should be joined by my friend any time now. Uh, he'll probably call us on Skype as soon as he's ready to uh, to join us. All right, we are in the room. So the last three times that I've played uh, Legacy Gauntlet, I've gotten elves every time. I've gotten pretty good at elves. I just I would like to play something else now. Hopefully. Hopefully we get to play something else. Still don't know the deck that they give me. Alright, we are playing Reanimator. So the whole thing that we want to do, we want to get Grave Titan, Elish Norn, one of the many Grizzle brands, Iona or Inkwell Leviathan onto the field as fast as possible. Uh, let's see. Those are all sideboard cards. Yeah, and all these cards are going to help us get possibly a turn one Gristlebrand. It's possible. It is very, very possible. Uh, I'm going to take the full uh, two minutes trying to wait for my buddy Caleb to get back from uh, I think he's at, he was at McDonald's. Pretty sure that we can't uh, take any of the sideboard and change it out quite yet. Plus, I don't think that we would even want to. The brain, uh, the um, the deck is pretty solid on it. Uh, just when it comes out. Okay, and it's gonna be about twenty seconds. Die roll. Let's see, Lotus Petal, Delta, and hmm. I think that we can keep this. I think we actually like this hand. Pass priority. Polluted Delta into a Underground Sea. Use in Tomb at instant speed. Uh, yeah, he's playing Elves. That's fine. He's getting, uh, yep, Trident Arbor. 
So we just need to counter his big main win condition. Uh, Crater Hoof slash uh, Natural Order, I think it is. Blue to Delta. Crack it for an Underground Sea. And I don't want to play the Lotus Petal yet, just in case they have a Reclamation Sage. Go ahead and pass the turn. And I definitely want to stop at their end step. <clears throat> uh, yeah, that's fine. We're going to, uh... To essentially beat it before they're able to turn it on. Hey. Hey, we are streaming right now. Sorry, it took me a minute. I was throwing up everything right. <laughs> Not good. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Let's get you to share screen. Share. You feeling okay? I don't want to see it. I'll just I'll just guess what you have. Uh, I think we're going to. Hmm. It doesn't have any men. I don't think you should let that resolve. I would float a black and daze it. I think. I don't know why they put Grave Titan in this deck. This uh, game one. Yeah, this is game one. I think I'm going to take maybe Iona. Grosso Brand is fine, I guess. Or no, I guess Elish Norn blows him out. <laughs> Elish Norn blows him Elish out. Elish Norn. Yeah, I was like, is Elish Norn in the? It's like, is Elish Norn in the sideboard? There's not a single spell he can resolve. <laughs> on the he just straight up quit. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I don't think it mattered what he did that turn. He really did not. Let's see. We he didn't even have to daze. Pithing needles good against uh, Deathrite Shaman. Deathrite Shaman. And I think massacres. Uh, if you control planes, you control Bad, because it. it doesn't control the planes. <clears throat> oh, if your opponent controls the planes. Hmm. Um, I don't. I don't like Grave Titan. Um, is there? An, I can't see all the cards in your deck. I can't see all of them. There's, what is there, just one Iona There's, past the Grizzlebrands? Yeah. Um, no, the Grizzlebrands. Iona and Inkwell. Just, just one Iona over there? Yep. Okay, you don't need Inkwell. Inkwell and Grave Titan, I don't think you need. <clears throat> I think once you put one of those into play, the game is over. I think I want to put I in a Golgari like charm. Brand. I think I like a Golgari charm. Um, for the minus one, minus one. Maybe kill us. A lot Some of stuff. Of the elves. A lot of the elves. Uh, we would probably take out. What would we take out? Probably just take out a Gristle Brand. <laughs> We don't need a Grizzle Brand in our hand. Uh, well, we might. I don't like discarding a Grizzle. I don't like taking. I, I like having four, at least four reanimator targets. Um, scroll down. What reanimate thought seizes? You got two thought seizes. Yeah, I think they're fine. Two thoughts. Okay, I like I like the thought seizes. Maybe minus an exhum for it, but I don't think you clutter your deck too much. You have a really good matchup as it is. His sideboard 
really goes hard think... against this deck, though. Uh, With but... two surgicals, some thought seizes, and some cabal therapies, but I don't think Golgari Charm is good against or just this deck. Or really. like this. Like, maybe kill a Dryad Arbor? That'd be the best thing you could do with it. Mm. Like Dryad Arbor and we like this the hand. Wirewood Symbiote. We like this hand. BT dubs. I don't know, I can't see it yet. You see it now? Oh, that looks alright. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna turn one to the Delta to Underground them. Sea. <laughs> Careful study. Pitching a Grizzle Brand. You can do whatever you and want. And you have to. days back up. And I have days back up. If he goes Death Right Shaman, you're fucked. Or, er, screw. Sorry. Hey. Hmm. <clears throat> nah, that's no good. Well, uh, yeah. Um. That's no good. <laughs> that's the best card against you. I guess you could have brought in Abrupt Decays. I guess you just hold until you have a Pithing Needle. But it gets kind of sketchy. Uh, you play yeah. the Ponder for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> Ponder became and, much better. Um, you might, you might get lucky and draw. I'm trying to think. If there's, there's no way you can get off next turn. I'm also not sure why you fetch for a a forest. Uh, if he, I guess he has. Uh, what is it? By you? No. Black green is uh I don't even remember what black green It probably is. doesn't matter. Okay, so... <clears throat> Polluted Delta, crack it, ponder, and hope to see a needle. I doubt he brought in a replicate. A brainstorm would be a good card. Lotus Petal doesn't do anything. Uh, maybe I think put another shuffle. Ponder. You just shuffle? <clears throat> I don't think that's good. I think you just aggressively shuffle. I don't think getting another Ponder just to go one card deeper is good enough. So just put them all back and then shuffle. Because you already have a Ponder anyway. Hmm. Hopefully you get rewarded. What'd you get? Another, Another days. days. Which isn't bad. The stack functions on like two lands. <clears throat> I am lagging a good bit. <clears throat> yeah, it's probably because you're streaming and on Skype. Yep. But don't F6, that's a bad idea. Yep. If he attacks you, you're in business. If he taps that death right shaman, you're in business. Mm hmm Yeah, I don't think he's that dumb. Well, you'd have to get... You'd, you'd have to get... Okay, he just ended the turn. Well, either way, that's good for you. That's fine. Uh... Um... I'm you may be able, able to beat this death right shaman. I'm not gonna be able to pitch <clears> them <throat> both. Exhum, exhum is. No, don't do it this turn. No. If you draw, don't don't. Uh, and you think I need? I would cast the ponder. ponder. Yep. <clears throat> See, exhum is really good against one death right shaman because it doesn't target. So you put a Grizzlebrand and an Elishorn in your I graveyard. think, yeah, I need that Pithing Needle. Okay, keep the Pithing Needle, fetch, play, Pithing Needle. Sounds pretty good to me. <clears throat> and then, I guess you can just... Careful study. 
No, you can, you can play the Pithing Needle, and then next turn, careful study, hope to draw a land, and then you win. I'm not going to draw a land. You're going to fetch. Oh, that's true. After you draw the Pithing Needle. Yeah, I guess that's true. Mm. <clears throat> and you go three, three cards deep for a land. I wouldn't well, get the get... tropical. There's no green cards in your deck. Another underground sea. There's no reason to get anything else besides underground sea. <coughs> okay, and then we'll see if he has the abrupt decay. <coughs> but I, I doubt. I doubt he sided it in. This is one of the. Just make sure you can click on the right thing. Hey, that's yep. it. Okay. Why haven't you opened your packs yet? Uh, yeah. The packs that I opened for the uh, Eternal Masters drafts didn't give me anything valuable, so I'm kind of gun shy. <laughs> Attack with a one-two. Do it. Do it. You don't win. <laughs> I doubt it, man. But a land is not what we wanted him to have. But if he doesn't have, <sighs> I like the double days backup you have, but he's not tapping any right now. Ooh. I don't even know if you go for That's... it next turn. Uh, I go for it this turn. Yeah, he's do it now. Yeah, it's. I don't know if you. Uh, mm, it's both. close. Yeah, you go for the careful study. Let's see what you draw. Uh, I need to pitch Gristlebrand and Elish Norn. It's like. I think. Because it's gonna have. Elish Norn blows him out. I wish there was all that here. I really wish there was a land here, but yeah, put both of them. And yeah, thoughts he doesn't do anything. I guess it shows me what he has, but I don't care. I just want to reanimate. <clears throat> yeah. And I would just go for Elish Norn. Probably Grizzlebrand this turn. Why? I'll just go for Grizzlebrand this turn, just to bait it out. Could have a zoom. Because you're not going to be able to daze any spell he has. By the way, it's frozen for me. I can't see what's going on. Uh, he is not doing anything. That's what he needs to know. He put a Gaius Cradle down. He is playing Quirion Ranger. Do you have a Grizzle Brand in play? Do you have a Grizzle Brand in play? And you have four Force of Wills in your deck and are at 18, or you're at 11 life? I'm at 10 life. From 10 three, life, rather, sorry. He's cracking a fetch, probably going to get a fourth mana. He's probably going to play, um... Natural order? Yep, and then I can daze it. Cast by returning an island. And I win. He can come back from this. Well, I guess there is, but there's not. <laughs> I mean, you just put an Alice Norn into play. <laughs> <clears throat> Alice Norn gains lots of life with Grizzlebrand and makes it into a 9 9. <sighs> Cavering Natural Order feels really, really dirty. But at the same with, time, it's. Or with the days? Yeah, with the days. Can you see my screen anymore? Do it with the Dryad Arbor or the Death Ride Shaman? I can't, still can't. You're still at 18 life on my screen? That's bad, because my Okay, 10. now I can see it. Yeah, I can see you at 10 now. I would go ahead and exhum before combat. Nah, that's good. <laughs> or combat. It, I guess it really doesn't matter. I guess I could put in two more points of damage, but it doesn't matter in the long run. If you can't stop it, you can't stop it. Kills this guy. 
I would thought to use him. No, you don't need to do that. Just the fucking egg zero. Damn. He, he has no thing. counter magic. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna get a death right shaman. <laughs> oh no. Yep. <laughs> he concede. Yep. Okay. This is the worst matchup elves has. Like by Honestly, far. Their sideboard goes hard against uh against graveyard though. Scavenging goose, against surgical extraction. Combo. I mean this is basically combo. Okay, scavenging goose scavenging goose is really slow. It is so the pretty much slowest way to deal with extractions it. in their sideboard. They have like four or three. Four or three what? Surgical extractions. There's two. There's two surgicals. Three thoughtsies, three cabal therapy? No, there's more. Maybe just two thoughtsies? L I'm looking up the deck list right now. And we've got to wait probably like five more minutes, maybe? Let's see, elves. Uh, four Thought Seas, one Scavenging Ooze, one Elder Scare Worm, two Abrupt Decay, three Cabal Therapy, two Mind Break Traps, and two Circle Extractions. Two Surgicals. Okay. Yep, just two Surgicals. So they have Cabal Therapies, Scavenging Ooze, Thought Seas, and Surgicals. What do they Which... have for Mind Break Trap? Is that for yeah. uh, Storm or something? S storm... Um... Storm. <laughs> they don't have any other interaction with Storm, except for the discard spells. But that's those are kind of awkward. I'm happy that I'm playing another deck. I'm trying now. to see if there's. Oh yeah, this is a good deck. This deck wins tournaments. <laughs> Elves, you gotta get really lucky. But you do have really bad matchups, in current legacy with um, probably your worst matchup. You still there? Can you not hear me? I can hear you now. It sounded like you cut out. Yeah, probably your worst matchup is uh, Eldrazi. Oh, well... I don't think I've even played against an Aldrazi deck on here yet. Uh, <coughs> no, you haven't. No, there is an, an Aldrazi deck in here. Uh, yeah, it's very good. Mimic, Endbringer, Endless One, Mattery Shaper, Reality Smasher, Shimmy and Spirit Guide, Thought Not It's not the important cards. There's a uh, it's only one important. No, it's the other one beside that one. Chalice? Yeah, that ruins you. Chalice for one ruins you. You can't win. Unless you discard a hand size. Do you understand? Yep. Turn one. They can do turn one chalice for one pretty easily. And you have to force the will it or die. <laughs> You don't have any ways to get any dudes in your graveyard. Which is <clears throat> the weird thing I find with this reanimated list. Usually to counteract uh, graveyard hate, they have like three show and tells on the sideboard. But yours does not. I mean, I guess there's... Jace to put stuff in the graveyard still? Jace doesn't. Oh, that Jace. Yeah. That's not very good, though. I don't know what matchup you would want Jace against. I guess that is the matchup, just because it's a two mana way to discard things and they don't have much removal. You usually you want Jace in, like, the control matchups. 
Or they take out their lightning bolts against you or something? I don't know. That's weird. Well, against the, uh... Like, those... Wait. What is... Like, this? usually with Legacy Reanimator... They have, like, a... Either the show and tells or, like, a Tendrils of Agony... Like, Storm combo... In the sideboard. Hmm. Lands is also a bad matchup. Lands? For you. What are you talking about? Yeah. The deck, lands. Oh, hello, there's lands. Because they got. Gamble. They got three Maze of Us. Maze of Us crushes you. Crop rotation for the Bojuka Bog on the sideboard crushes you. Even Tavern, like the Tabernacle at Pendrel Vale will just like crush you if they're on their mana denial plan. They got four wasteland. Oh, this one's on in four ports. Interesting. <coughs> Do you have anything for this deck? Land seems like it's actually a pretty tough deck to beat. Period. Yeah, it's a it's a very good deck. I mean, because they're playing lands but that it's only. Shouldn't do this stuff. It's really good when they get their turn one exploration and the play. That's the games they win like ninety nine percent of. I'm trying to see how you win against this deck. It's pissing needle. The rest isn't good. I guess Golgari charm you could bring in. It's still not very good. Don't have anything to get rid of. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, you definitely bring in the pithing needles for yep. a Thespian stage. Yep. <clears throat> Thespian stage and you probably for that matchup. Tide maze. If I can probably get the it. tide. Probably the tide spin. Tide spin. Uh, you just don't want to die to the twenty twenty tide spout tyrant in your sideboard would be good. Because you can bounce the token, the Merit Lage token. Mm -hmm. You have no other way of killing it. And Tithe Bounce Tyrant, like, probably take out an Elish Norn for it. At least Iona don't, still seems okay. At least they don't play something like Crucible Worlds. Because that would be really nasty with the Wasteland. Oh, they did. They did put the tireless trackers on this one on the sideboard of yeah. the land stack, which I uh, really like the tireless tracker. I like sideboard. tireless it's tracker cute. too. I like it Cause, for a lot of Because they take out all their creature removal. Did you know that you can't pithing needle on a clue token? On a clue token? Because it's not a card. Yeah, you can't pithing needle a clue token. Because yeah, pithing needle says name a card and you can't say clue because that's not a card it's a token it came up one time I was, I've was i been watching this uh, the Magic Online Championship and they're playing Legacy I think last round last round it was some land stack which <clears throat> lands is just great it's it's good against everything. Probably not not as good against Miracles. I think that's its worst matchup. Like Miracles and Storm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Miracles and Storm. I don't think... It's really hard for them to beat Miracles and Storm. What do they have on the sideboard? They have the Bojuka Bog and four Thoughtsons. 
I guess Sphere of Resistance is pretty good against Storm. They have Lance has that in their sideboard. I'm not sure they need three of them, but eh, maybe they do. Because they don't. They probably do. The matchups really bad. Like they don't have a lot of bad matchups, but they do want cards for their bad matchups. I'm actually really surprised they don't run counterspell magic. <clears throat> what? What? What are you talking about? The lands deck. I guess they can't really afford it. They can't. You can't put another color in this deck. Too many colorless lands. I mean, they have Exploration Mana Bond, Mox Diamond, which, you know... That's whatever color. Yeah, they can't afford to. Punishing run fire will magic. slowly go. They're using. Them. Yeah, really slow. But their main one condition is the dark depths. Mm. Or just make you concede. <laughs> make you hate your life and concede. Yeah. Man, this match is going on for a while. Come on, guys. It's just legacy. I wonder what they're playing. It could be lands versus lands, and that is awful. <laughs> <laughs> Worst feeling ever. Like, hey man. Hey man, you want to play the lands mirror? <laughs> Not really. Said no one ever. <laughs> I hate when people ask stupid questions. Like, I was clearly throwing my guts up in the bathroom, and Rob's like, Are you throwing up? <laughs> no. It's like, Nah, man, I'm good. <laughs> the answer is clearly no. Was it the mm. McDonald's that was uh, doing it to you, or just because of your back problems? I don't know. I just took some. I just took some pain medicine. <clears throat> but let me show you. We got a foil nimble mongoose. That's pretty sweet. It's 12 bucks. That's a common. So there should be a lot of them out there eventually. You would think. Pyroblast is at 49. Yeah, that's Four. crazy. By the way, that's crazy. And Hydroblast is 35. <laughs> Silly. They've never been printed at foil before. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the only reason that they're so high, but still. Um, golf. Did you send me something? Yeah. It's 4.8 megabytes. Whatever it is, I don't want it. It's just, it's just a picture. That's how they get you. That's a big picture. It's a huge... Dude, it's 4.9 megabytes. It's a huge picture. It's just a picture. 100% it's just a picture. It's a high quality picture. Let's check it out in a second. Are you gonna take it? Are you gonna take it? Are you gonna take it? I'm going to take it? I guess I could send it to you on... I guess I could send it to you on Facebook. It doesn't really matter. I'm downloading it right now. It's just... Let me eat up my bandwidth, just for you. Good. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm cutting the stream short. 